dealing with a decrease in donations. Canadian Blood Services says it's in talks with the government as well as private companies that pay donors for plasma to tackle the issue. But it's a potential move some people don't agree with. Eric Viano has the details. 52-year-old Terence Fowler of St. Catharines says he makes a point to donate blood three to four times a year. With research, with, um, with car accidents, with um, surgeries, with cancer diagnosis, everything that goes on in our, in our world, uh, I don't think there's enough blood ever. Uh, I don't think they could ever ask for too many donations. It's needed all the time. Hey, I'm just one individual, but I'm happy to help with that. Canadian Blood Services issued a plea last week for donors to book and keep their appointments. That's because collections have been falling with a 17% drop in its inventory. The service needs to fill over 600 appointments this month alone. Despite a constant need for protein-rich plasma needed for people with immune deficiencies and rare blood disorders, kidney and liver disease, various cancer patients, and others. Donating plasma is similar to donating blood, only the plasma portion of your blood is collected while other components are returned back to you. Currently, companies trading cash for plasma is a practice that's banned in British Columbia, Quebec, and right here in Ontario. The bulk of Canada's nonprofit agency supply currently comes from abroad, including from organizations that pay donors. Now, the agency says it is working on how to more than double plasma collection by allowing companies to compensate donors for plasma here. Wouldn't be the cash that would get me to donate blood, I'd do it anyway, but um, maybe if it's needed and might get some other people to donate. I would think giving some sort of incentive for it would get more people out to do it. So it seems like a good thing. I don't feel like uh, cash incentive is necessary. I used to live in Saskatchewan. There was a company there, although the blood went to the States, if I remember correctly, and they had cash incentives. Fowler says there should not be an incentive for Canadians to donate. Our health is all we have. And if we start putting a price on our health, this I, I think it's a, it's a slippery slope that we're gonna, um, that we may not wanna visit. Some advocacy groups also say the agency should double its collection strategy instead of turning to private collectors. In a statement to CHCH News, Canadian Blood Services says it is working to reduce Canada's dependency on the global market so that at least half of the plasma needed can be made from donations in Canada instead. CHCH News reached out to Health Canada for comment, but they did not respond. Eric Vienno, CHCH News.